Friends and fellow citizens, I stand before you tonight under indictment of the alleged crime of having voted at the last presidential election without having a lawful right to vote. It shall be my work this evening to prove to you that in thus voting, I not only committed no crime, but instead simply exercised my citizen's right granted to me by all the United States citizens by the national constitution beyond the power of any state to deny. The preamble of the federal constitution says, We the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity, do ordain or establish this constitution of the United States of America. It was we the people, not we the white male citizen, nor yet we the male citizen, but we the whole people who formed the Union, and we formed it, not to give the blessings of liberty, but to secure them. It is a downright mockery to talk to women of their enjoyment of the blessings of liberty, while they are denied the use of the only means of securing them provided by the Democratic Republican government, the ballot. To them, this government has no just powers derived from the constant of the governed, an oligarchy of learning where the educated govern the ignorant, or even the oligarchy of race where the Saxon rules the African, might be endured, but this oligarchy of sex, which ordains all men sovereigns and all women subjects, carries distension, discord, and rebellion into every home of the nation. The only question left to be settled now is, are women persons? And I hardly believe any of our opponents will have the hardihood to say we are not. Being persons, we, we then women are citizens. No state has a right to make any law or to enforce any old law that shall abridge their privileges or immunities. Thank you. Susan B. Anthony, 1873.